Hello and welcome to Makeup by the Wilbergs. Today we're creating this blinged out gothic Elvis look. I hope you like it. Hey goblins, creatures and everyone in between. The Wilbergs here and it's time for another makeup tutorial. Today we want to create an easy, fun, creepy look for clubbing, Halloween or just relaxing on the sofa. Inspired by, by our old signature makeup looks, Elvis and a bit of goth thrown in there. Everything that is fun, in other words, for me anyway. Hope you like it. I'm gonna do almost the entire makeup in wet paint today. So I start covering the face with the light color supper color, 1W, and highlight with the white supper color and blend it out. For a creepy cold contouring, I'm using two blue colors from the Corallon Color Wheel Black Eye 2 and blend it out. It looks really horrible right now, but I'm having so much fun that I really don't care. This old piece of Halloween store find we used in our early career, and it has seen its better days. But we figured it would be fun to revive it today. It's a rubber wig, and I have no idea where we got it. We glue the wig down with Mystic Spirit Gum and start going in with the black supper collar from Cryolon, painting the details in the face. This is all in the whip base still, so if you fuck up your lines, you can always just paint it over with the skin toned supper color. We set the wet base with translucent powder. We're using Makiage Perfect Finish. It's really great and it smells like an old woman's bathroom and that's always a good thing. Make sure to pound it in really carefully so the black lines won't smudge. We need to pick up the colors again after setting the base so I'm using Pat McGrath's Blue 002 pigment. Gently brush the eyeshadow all around the blue areas and also some of the black areas, just to give the lines more depth. Take a black eyeshadow and fill in the black areas to make it really deep. I'm also making sure to black out the line between the skin and the rubber wig. I want a really dark eye for this makeup, so I'm using one of my favorite pens from Ellis to paint the waterline. We curl the lashes and paint them with our favorite Makiage Mascara, and after that we put some false lashes on. I'm not sure they will show, just don't want to be lazy. The makeup is almost done, we just need some highlights, and we're using the Midas, Midias, whatever touch from Sleek Makeup. It has two shades that are really great for this look, a silver white one and a blue one. As a final touch we want to give the makeup a cool wet look and I'm using a lip gloss from Peggy Sage to do that. And I'm going bananas and putting it everywhere. Just make sure to set the makeup with a great setting spray afterwards so you won't smudge. And you're done! The look is complete and I feel awesome. I'm wearing my new contacts from Camo Eyes. If you have any questions or if you like what you see, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!